S.E. Trill. Flavor in the mix. We out here. I always wanted to be a star. Fuck it up. My bad, I started twerking there for a second. <laughs> Candy, you can't say that kind of stuff. Grown Folks Clothing, 3940 East 13th Street North, here in Wichita, Kansas. You can reach them at 316-200-0430. Also, check them out on social media, Grown Folks Clothing. and get your grown folks on dress for any occasion. What's poppin' everybody? <laughs> it's the first of the month. Man, y'all know what it is. It's your girl Jay Nichelle. And it's Candy B. And we back for another episode of Flavor in the Mix. We out here. You know we're gonna pay the bills first. So first we got C's place. Okay. So we got on Tuesday, they got burlesque dancing from 7.30 to 8.30. Wednesday, you got bar bingo. Thursday, pool, spades, bones all day. Your girl's ready to smash you in the bones. Heck yeah, and on Friday, you have flash fun. I don't know what that's about, but something. <laughs> Go and check it out. <laughs> and Saturday, you have strut and stroll. And on su- Sundays, you have, um, is it strut? What is this on Sunday? You had it right. Same. Rolling and relaxing with wine specials on Sunday. Hey. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Check out C's place, y'all, for Hydraulic and Douglas. But besides that, y'all know we want to give a big shout out to Lifted Live from the Basement. They give us so much merch, so much love, yes. share, support. We like y'all. Y'all make sure y'all check them out. They got music. They got merch. Yes, y'all. We wear Lifted, so we feel gifted. Okay. Oh, oh, gr- <laughs> Lance is like, yes. <laughs> Shout out my nigga Lance. Okay. Also, want to give a shout out to Polly Productions. Y'all yes. see where we at. Thank you, Polly. And we got our boy Chris Keys. I am legit in the building. Hey, he gave us both a shirt. You know I'm a schmedium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I'm a be- I like red. That's my color. That's Ooh. my color. All right. So we're going to jump into the review of the week. Um, this week, this week was just like, for me, it was like a lot of working, like yeah. a lot, a lot, a lot of working, a lot of football, a lot of kid stuff. Um, but I do want to touch on the, um, project development over on Ninth Street. Oh yeah. That was really a highlight this week. So shout out Brandon Johnson. Mm-hmm. Shout out the whole team that made that happen. A $3 million investment over there. Yes. And that's major for the community. Um, we need it. Yeah. A lot of people, a lot of the elderly people over there were, brought to tears you know because they felt like the neighborhood had been forgot about oh yeah they felt like you know all of these other developments are happening in all these other areas Mm -hmm. and we're just you know plateauing forgotten so big 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 ups to um, brandon johnson and everybody that was involved in making that project happen that is dope for the community yes also saturday yesterday um autumn and autumn black United Vibes, her and her husband. Yeah. They Shout had, out Autumn. Yes, wonderful people. They closed their store. Saturday was the last day that they had, so things were discounted. They had DJ Damo out there. They had food, a jumpy house for the kids, vendors set up. So I went out there and went crazy, y'all. Since I paid all my bills, I said I might as well get some of the merch. I got artwork. I got T-shirts, shea butter, black soap. It was you earrings. Love that place. Yes. For my people. And she put me on. So, and Candy B's skin is so soft. It really is. I think it's a black <laughs> shea butter. I don't know, but, yeah. I try to take care of it. You got good skin, too, sis. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I don't take care of mine, though. Dang. More water. Just a little. I just I just use Vaseline. Hey, and just for the record, my health tip has to do with water, so. Yes. <laughs> okay, so y'all got a little sneak peek. What else happened this week? I wanted to um, shed light on a few things. Okay, so let's keep it all the way funky for a second. I got this list in my inbox about, Uh-oh. yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say it. We're going to talk about it, about um, undercover brothers in Wichita. Mm. Oh, my God, you guys. Some of the men that are on this list, I feel I feel terrible. She feel, showed it to me. I don't believe it. I feel terrible. Do Some, you think? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But also, I think that really people are just, okay, so I feel two ways. One way I feel like it's none of nobody's damn business. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? What you do, who you do it with. 
it's nobody's business but you gotta be careful you know you gotta be considerate like this having you can get one bad penis can ruin the whole bunch you know what i mean like that's true i'm just saying there's real diseases out there Mm -hmm. that are killing people oh yeah and i think that that's the biggest the biggest argument for those undercover brothers like you need to be up front with ladies because surprisingly i think a lot of ladies will accept it if you go away (laughs) You think so? Well, yes. yeah. Yes. The, the way yes, times are now. Yes, yeah. I do. There's a whole ass show out right now on MTV. Are you the one in a house full of motherfuckers that go both ways, men and women, and they in there kissing and falling in love? Mm. I think it's really the times have changed, but I just think that people need to be a little bit more honest about who you're trying to like pursue and have sex with. You don't got to come out and tell the world, like, I like booty and coochie, but at the same time, you should still tell the person that you're trying to get involved with, like, hey. Definitely. I suck a dick from time to time. Right. Don't be false. Tell the truth. Shame the devil. Yeah. But (laughs) I do think, I do think that it's really, I really think that the list to out people and stuff like that, I I just have a problem with that. Like, Mm -hmm. a whole list. And I'm telling you, if some of these men knew that they were on this secret list, they'd be pit they would they would it would be an uproar in the community (laughs) there would be there would be uh lgbt people laying all over the streets i'm telling you some of these people are like not to be played with and if they are gay i'm i'm completely sure they don't want to be outed and they're probably willing to go through some really great lengths to convince everybody that they're not but Man, anyway. we just talked about this, what, two episodes ago? It's serious, man. This is out. This is serious out man, here. Just let people be them, man. If they want to lick a little ball sack, <laughs> lick a little twat, I mean, <laughs> hey, it is what it is, you know? Hey, I don't do it. You know what I'm she, saying? She but if you want to, well, that from time to time. <laughs> but somebody wants to do both, hey, that's their forte. I don't know what another human being do. But I fuck with you. And it's been going on for a long time. It's just people are, you know, coming out about it. Let's be real. Even the, um, do you watch the David Chappelle special? Mm-mm. Dave Chappelle even uh, busted people out in the audience. Like, we're in Atlanta. And there's a lot of gays in here sitting with their wives. I <laughs> lost it. I lost it because he's keeping it real. That's true. Uh, it's a lot of undercover happening. I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. What else we got, Kenny D? <laughs> Shoot. You know, I can talk man, about it all uh, day. I'm going to talk about it. <laughs> well, we did have some fun. Shout out to Essence. Uh, she did our photo shoot. Oh, yeah. So shout y'all, out to Essence yes. and her partner yes. and her, her lady. Yes. Man, they were they had so much good energy. And her, her lady that was with her, she was like, okay, fix your hair, poke it out, lift it up. And that's yeah. what we need at a photo yeah. shoot. Yeah, tell me, girl. Help me with them angles. And what was you saying? If somebody ain't trying to invest in your dreams, what are they doing? Yeah, you can't get away from me. I don't mess with nobody. Ain't trying to invest in my dreams, or you know, if we ain't building, then we ain't doing nothing. You said they doing you right. They doing me. <laughs> Shout out Ado. Hey. They doing me. <laughs> we get on them highways and get off. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Kennedy. Man, I love it, y'all. We came across some good people from first season and second season, y'all. We love what we do. We love y'all for supporting us. If it wasn't for y'all, we wouldn't do it every day, you know? Couple shout outs. Today is going down. We got YBM Smooth. Happy birthday to you. You got your album release party after we get that tape and we actually come in there. We're going to party. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. That's candy stuff. Happy birthday. Yeah. To I'm about to start you. rapping. Hit no, him I'm with, kidding. come on, come on. Look at she gets so excited. No. Come on. She, you be hyping me too. I'll be ready to go. <laughs> like, dang. She got bars, y'all. She got bars. Then we got our music of the week. Of course. Are we are we doing Sadaline? No. Who we doing? Miss V. Miss V. That's right. Yes. We got a lady in the building. We do. We need more ladies, y'all. Ladies, come out. Give us y'all music. Let us know. I'm trying to give me a bag. 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 I know it is I'm trying to give me a bag. I'm trying to give me a bag. I'm trying to give me a bag. I'm trying to go run up a bag. I'm trying to give me a bag. I'm trying to give me a bag. I'm trying to give me a bag. To buy the shit I never had. I'm trying to give me a bag. Run up this money, get rid of these rags. Turning the riches and Hattie Ho mad. Hey, yeah, I'm a Hattie Ho mad. So you get harassed, in other words, when you're out? 
I don't say it's harassment. Women throw their panties on the stage. Right. DJ Three, <laughs> I love you, baby. <laughs> you mixing that shit. Man, cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> cut it out. <laughs> now I don't get harassed. Like everywhere I go, people talk. You know, we chop it up. Artists. I always ask for my info and they want to send you music. Yeah, but half of them never called me. Wow. You know, never send me shit. Wow. So, well, you know, Miss Jake Nichelle, she's a rapper. She always tells people She that. is. I'm, I'm gonna have her get in the booth and you can that. hear something after we get done. She's, I bet. Yes. I can, I can rhyme. You know, like cat, bat. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No. Yeah. I don't she's want, cold. I, she's she's cold. cold. She gonna do that. I don't want to hear no, that. No. No. That's not. Don't listen to her. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We can keep it moving. Don't worry about it. Hey, her album about to drop in 2020. So, Y'all for, copy. <laughs> okay. so for people like Candy B who are trying to get into the industry, what's the best advice you would give them? Uh, keep working, keep networking, and don't burn bridges. Oh, nice. that's a big one. That's it. That's a big one. It's hard sometimes not to burn those bridges, though, because that. the business world, man. Oh, no, it ain't. Oh, they just be don't coming fuck with for them. you. Just don't fuck with them. Yeah. But yeah. you ain't got to be out here talking about nobody and, I don't do that, do that, that, fuck all that. Don't yeah. burn no bridges. Yeah, the business okay. world is super That's small. how I'm still here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a veteran uh, of what I do. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of cats don't understand. Be like, damn, how this, how, this, how this nigga still doing all this shit? I stay relevant, and I build my network. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't burn no bridges. Yeah. I got... 20 year, old, 20 year old relationships. Wow. Nice. Period. Like for real. Like I call certain, boom, it's done. Yeah. And that's major to have that. that. That's, some, that's some good advice. It's because... just real shit. Like people, like I know niggas be sitting back like, damn, these niggas do all these shows, all these concerts. Y'all everywhere. We do we're on every show. Y'all that's everywhere. true. That's fucking relationships. Yeah. Period. Uh, people already know. First call. That's what it is. DJ3. Yeah, that's, that's amazing is. though to have love like that. That's what it is. I always do good business. Period. You know, it's cool that you work with DJ Cadence because I remember the first time I seen DJ Cadence. Um, I think it was like Joe's or something like that, and he used to be on the stage like fucking it up, like really <laughs> dancing, crazy. and he would be like that giving all the pretty girl roses. Crazy. Oh yeah, and I'd be like, if this that nigga don't give me a rose today, is crazy. <laughs> hey, that's, that's a. Cadence is my nigga, but that motherfucker is crazy. <laughs> what you mean by that? I was just getting ready That motherfucker don't stop moving all night. Yeah, he's I mean, he lit. Me and Detroit be like, look at this motherfucker. <laughs> that nigga be getting it. He, yes. Man, if the party ain't going down real shit, you can ask Detroit this. We be like, man, I'm going to get Cadence and Mike. Get Cadence and Mike. he take off to the dance floor. <laughs> yep. yeah, we, then we turn in about five minutes, we turned up. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Straight up. He yep. go dance. Look, yeah, he got to dance. He go dance. That's what I've he heard. He do. Yeah, for real. He and do that shit. And that's why I like going to his parties because I'm like, he going to rock. I mean. Man, he going to get it yeah, in. Yeah, he going to get it in. And he going to get everybody hyped, though, because once you see the DJs on the dance floor. Yeah, and, 100%. Yeah, you like, okay, let me get out here and yeah. twerk something. Yeah, I'm going to go to the floor. I'm going to yeah. dance. Yeah, real shit. <laughs> it's so crazy. Back in the day, me and Katie didn't fuck with each other. Why? Really? Yeah. The, like a competition, the competition right? Shit. Okay. Like, but we stupid. We should have came together and smashed. Yeah. We didn't. We was young. We didn't understand. We yeah. We was just like, he over there. I'm over here. Fuck it. So right. how did that link up happen? How did right. you decide to? Okay, let me start. Because we always in. was doing all the shit. <laughs> so we was like, man, what the fuck? <laughs> Might as right. well. Yeah. There you go. Because at one point in time, I was doing, I was doing the rodeo. Doc Howard's was, and America's Pub. Uh, I, we, I was doing all the motherfuckers at one time. That is crazy. For real, straight and up. Those all and, and all the, and, 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 was all my spot. Rodeo was my spot. And all the motherfuckers hated each other. And they, I used to run through all the motherfuckers. Getting your dough. Straight up. I, I, I fuck with all. I, fuck, I told you I fuck with everybody. That's the yeah. relationship she was straight talking up. about. Straight oh up. Oh my God, inspiration. And that's how me and Katie started getting together, working more. Because mm. yeah. he, Doc Howard was his shit. The liquid, that was all his shit. Yeah. America Pub shit, that was my shit. Right. Rose shit, that was my shit. You know what I'm saying? So we started doing shit together and it just shit it clicked and worked. And so how did DJ Detroit come into the picture? DJ Detroit is from Detroit. He uh one of my core brothers, DJ Stu, that's his best friend. DJ Stu. Uh Detroit got stationed out here. We got stationed out here years ago. He was in the military and uh Stu told me and my guy Mac Payne, said, uh, look out for my nigga DJ Detroit. Mm -hmm. So that's how we got that's how we got linked in. You know right. what I'm saying? Through my core brother DJ Stu. So nice. it's been the core DJs for how long? Shit, about 15. Dang. Yeah, real That's a shit. Blessing. It might have been like, I don't know. It's been a minute. So do y'all kick it outside of DJing often? 
Like brothers. Yeah, who? Uh, us? Yeah, like yeah. y'all go on trips together and like. Yeah, I mean, it always turn to work, but yeah, we, yeah, we do, yeah, I mean, we do retreats, we out of town. You okay. know, so we, we do multiple retreats, we do two, two retreats a year. Cool. And we do different cities. Um, but uh, Real Shit Me in Detroit was that uh, we did the the, uh, the Craw for Cancer. Mm-hmm. And uh, after that shit, we DJ'd that shit at uh, Rock Island. Then we jumped on the scooter <laughs> with our drunk asses. <laughs> <laughs> I almost fell. Oh. So did he. We trying to Snapchat. You can't Snapchat on the scooter. No, you sure can. You need to hold on. Right, oh, man. I was Stop like, fuck that. I'm strong. I can get it done. <laughs> And I, yo, like yo, yo, I almost like me. blew it. I almost blew it. Damn. Oh, I almost blew it. Did you just jump off the scooter and catch up? No, I, I just oh. grabbed uh, oh, the, hand, the handlebars and I, I got control of it. But yeah, yeah, yeah now we all hang up. Yeah, we all hang up. So I did see that you're on Sirius XM. Is that right? Yeah, Shay 45. We got our own show that every is Friday. So cool. Like that's the core major. DJs. The core DJs. We we had our own show in over ten years. Yeah, I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't know yeah. that. Just kind of like. I stalk everybody's Instagram. Right. I always yeah. stalk your Instagram. Yeah, because I knew I DJ that. Detroit was on there, but I didn't know that you were on there. We all, it's, our, it's a core DJ. He's the president of a core DJ. The, the, right. the whole shit is a core DJ show on every Friday. Yeah, right what time last, on Friday? Mid, uh, was it midnight to 2? Okay. Rocking. The yeah. club hours. You can yeah, just, shit go down. Shit, you can just get ready for and the club, get your turn up real going. Real shit, and all, all, the, uh, all the core DJs in the organization, we rotate and be on there two at a time. Nice. That's a lot of yeah. listeners. It is. That's, it's global. That's, I mean, that's crazy. That's my Eminem. Blowing. That's Eminem's radio station. Right, Eminem right, gave right. us that shit 10 years ago. Did you meet him? No, not yet. Oh, that would be so uh-uh. cool. I know. I wonder what Eminem would be like because he, he does seem like he's an asshole <clears throat> and he likes that about himself. He, you know, I don't think he would say that that's but a flaw. People got to understand it's nothing wrong being an asshole. Because oh. I am. Yeah, see, you I are knew not. it. He's not. Knew it. He, he's like, uh, yes, I am. That's not the. That's not how I perceived you. Yeah, but it's just I'm an asshole to certain things. Like I just don't tolerate dumb shit. Right. Yeah. I just I can't do sucker shit. Yeah, it's and a I lot hate, of sucker shit. And I hate shit. lazy ass people. Ooh, yes, he said and that I hate one the for excuses, me. Excuses, so I be asshole on that kind of shit. Yeah, because you already excuses. I ain't trying to hear that shit. Right. Yeah. I'm not. You mentioned that people don't drop their music off and they don't come through and follow through. Nope. You're like, hey, yeah, drop your music off, whatever, whatever. I get my fuck with my phone number. What else I got to do? And they don't call. I don't get no calls. They wow. be on that BS. They be drunk half the time, don't they? I don't know, but I gave them my number. I'm not about to play with people. There is a lot of people that, you know, I think that that's cool that you've been able to, like, change with the times and keep up with the times and you're not afraid of change and you're not afraid to go get it. Mm -hmm. Because there are a lot of people that are afraid to go get it and they're just, they hate where they're at, but they're so afraid of change. Straight up. They just Mm -hmm. won't take that chance. People like that comfortability and that's what's going to get you stuck in. You're not going to go anywhere. Yeah. That's why we out here. Yeah, keep up the good work. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. So what's what's next? What's upcoming? Um, you have an event tonight at Six, six degrees. degrees. I want to come to that. I love hookah. Uh, six Degrees tonight. Well, it's every Sunday. Sunday fun day. Uh, we got the Rick Ross coming coming up. You on didn't the night. Rick Ross? Yeah, I heard yes. about that. My friend the, just sent me the Rick, flyer. Rick Ross, uh, October 9th. Uh, we got I got Little John, October 18th. Uh, I got. Um, I heard uh, I'm blowing it. Uh, I, well, let me jump back to September. <laughs> I got, I got, um, I got bu- uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony 17th. Bone thugs. Oh, I don't want to put them. God damn, I'm blowing. I, I'm, I'm trying to picture flyers in my head. No, but you um, got yourself booked and busy. It's kind of hard. Good, though. Where can people the, find out? I got uh, my Instagram, Facebook. I, I'm on every social media. I uh, got an event with South by, uh, by uh, Southwest Entertainment uh, September 7th at Rock Island. Nice. Um, I'm forgetting things. It's cool. Dang. I'm old. It's cool. Well, definitely, I'm going to try to see Bone Thugs and Harmony. I am a Bone Thugs and Harmony fan. It's the cotillion. Yes. I want to see Ross, the biggest see, boss. See, I can pass on If Ross. he lose any more weight, I'm not going to be a fan. Y'all got to come to everything. Y'all got to come to everything. Right, I'm coming tonight, uh-huh. though, for sure. Little John going to be lit, too. Don't yes, play. I'm going to Little John. I love Little John. I, I might bust crazy. it open okay. for that one. Bam. Little John going to be crazy. Y'all see that? Bam, bam. I ain't going to bust it open yeah. anyway. <laughs> yeah, I like to twerk. Okay, so if, um, like you said, you have all these events coming up, you're booked, you're busy, you're on every social media platform under DJ3. DJ3316 DJ is my three. snap and my IG. My Facebook is uh, Derek Crosby, my real name. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Crosby. I was Crosby. looking for you on Facebook. I was wondering why I couldn't find I found your um, yeah, I got like business page. page. I got yeah. a like page, yeah. Mm-hmm. DJ Gray. Yeah, but I couldn't yeah. find your actual so page. So it's not too hard to get in contact with you in other Not words. at all. You can find me everywhere. Look, I know I seen you out. Maybe it was it last month or the month before you was out handing flowers. I said, man, look at this man go. Like, he's his own street team. Yeah, that's what's <laughs> You got to do the work, man. Um, we just we just did it at the party with uh, Blueface at Heroes. That yeah. was crazy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we got a lot of shit, man. Uh, we got a lot of shows coming up. We ain't announced yet, so it's going down. Okay, so before we get out of here, any shout-outs, any last words, anything you want to make sure the audience knows? Uh, man, you can just follow me on social media at DJ3316. Uh, you'll find me. Uh, last words. Artists keep working. Don't give up. Yes. Because um, this shit is a process. Believe in your process. If you don't believe in that shit, you ain't going to make it. Mm-hmm. So go on and get your nine to five. Clock in. No, and no hate against that if that's what you're going to do. But this music shit takes money, mm-hmm. time, and patience, and network. Mm-hmm. Quit burning bridges. You know what I'm saying? Straight follow up. Follow through. You got to like follow it. through. And for all the DJs out there, man, learn your craft. Study. Know where it came from. Just don't know the new music. Know the old, old music, shit, too. That's true. That makes you a better DJ when you can do everything. Yeah, got to know the legends, man. I was just everything. telling the kid the other day, he didn't know who Missy Elliott was. That's a shame. That's, that's what I horrible. said. I said but she's real, a though. legend. But it's real, though, because they don't know. What kind of stuff is that? Because, yeah, I don't know who his mama was. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, for real. Well, mama, what yeah. were you doing? Right, yeah, what okay. What they was doing. I don't know. But uh, that's that's about it. Shout out to all my core family. Core DJ Detroit. Core DJ Cadence, man. Far as here. And uh, the rest of my family everywhere else. Core DJs. We out here, man. Hey. Grown Folks Clothing. 3940 East 13th Street North, here in Wichita, Kansas. You can reach them at 316-200-0430. Also, check them out on social media, Grown Folks Clothing. and get your grown folks on dressed for any occasion. All right, we back, y'all. That yep. was a bomb interview. DJ3, we appreciate you not being Hollywood. He right. just kept letting us know he a regular, regular, regular nigga from, from uh, Wichita, Kansas, you yes. know. So I, I love that about my phone. Yes, and he said catch him on uh, 92.7 Saturday nights. Yep. He be on there, y'all. So if y'all want to hear some good music from DJ3 locally, y'all already know what's up, 92.7. That's one of my favorite stations, might I add. Yeah, no, he was real cool. I I love uh, people that are willing to come in and just be like, I'm just a regular person. I know I've I've worked hard and I've accomplished a lot, but he kept giving us praise, telling us to keep doing what we're doing. Right, I love that. I love that for sure. So, (laughs) so, uh, Candy always gives us a good health tip of the week. Okay, so yes, y'all, my health tip tip this week, your girl is going on a fast. So, from Monday to Friday, so I thought that I would go into with uh, infused waters. So, if you guys didn't know, you can infuse your waters with um, fruits and vegetables for detoxing of the body. Nice. So, I have a couple of them on here. Um, nice. For clear skin, you can do cucumber, excuse me, cucumber, lemon, mint. All together in water. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, you'll cucumber, slice up your cucumber, yes. Mint. Yes. And what else? Lemon. Lemon. Okay. Uh, so, if you have a bloated stomach, you got the same three things plus ginger. Ginger is good for the digestive. Nice. Then, if you want a metabolism booster, you have green apple and cinnamon. These I are all natural. Mm-hmm. Cinnamon stick, not already ground up cinnamon. Then, if you want weight loss, you also have cucumber, grapefruit nice. with the water. So, yes. I don't really like grapefruit, but I know it's really good for you. I don't think I've had grapefruit. Too it has, like, that little twang to it. Like, you know, back here, the little thing there. What? <laughs> what is it? Hello. <laughs> you know when it be just twang. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. So, yes, y'all, that's a detox water. So, if y'all want to get your body right, skin right, stomach right. Drink that agua. Okay. Hey, and alkaline water at that. 
check the pH balance, y'all. For sure. Well, you guys make sure. Um, Kenny, do you have anything else before I kind of sign off tonight? Damn. Because uh, I'm so excited about uh, YBN Smooth's re- album release party. Hey, I do got something. on this album. Okay, go ahead. Sky is not the limit no more, y'all. We going to a whole nother galaxy, okay? <laughs> She's naturally like this, y'all. This ain't no... <laughs> This ain't no drinking or system. You know, she I try to tone it down. Up. When you see me in person, it's a little bit more like, so I tone it down a little She's bit. She's not lying. <laughs> it's cool, though. It works. I love it. I love how um, goofy you are. Thank you. Yeah, it matches. Like, you know, I'm a little bit more serious. And you should see us, like, when the camera's not rolling. I'm like, God damn it, can it be? <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but she keeps me laughing. Thank you, man. Laughter is good for the soul when I tell you. Yeah, it is. I love sure. it. For sure. Because so, if I die today, at least I went out making people smile. You know, well, we're not going to get started <laughs> on you with that. She going to tell me if she goes to Africa and she gets uh, kidnapped <laughs> and they use her, you know, as for sex trafficking and pump her body with drugs. She said, well, at least I went to Africa. I, you know what? You a little bit too optimistic for me at this yeah. point, and I'm gonna need you to snap back at least in the I reality. Went out living my best life, man. And, okay. and all of y'all have footage of me right here and right now. <laughs> I was a good human being. Yeah, I would be flavor in the mix would probably be done. Nope. I don't know how I could do it without you. What? You better do this. I don't know how I do it. You gonna do it? I don't know how I do it. Okay, I ain't going to Africa because she can't do this shit without me, y'all. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, thank you. That's all I had to say. Shoot, I would have said that 15 minutes ago. <laughs> I'm still going. <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all. Well, we love y'all. We want y'all to come back and kick it with us. We got another episode. This is episode six. Yes, ma'am. All right, which, which means there's only two more episodes in season two of Flavor yes. in the Mix. And season three is going to be bigger and better. So y'all make sure y'all keep it where you got it. Keep My it name locked. is Jay Nichelle. And your girl Candy B. Sending peace and love, y'all. And we out. <laughs>